How's it going guys? It is 1.21 a.m. Thursday, July 21st here in Japan, and we have a past level question for Repro for Step 1 and OBGYN for 2CK. Nothing dramatic, nothing difficult. This is just regurgitating arrows, okay? But nevertheless, the yieldness requires mini review. You should know your fucking arrows. Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 41-year-old woman, 24 weeks gestation. She has a Down syndrome fetus. The question just wants to know the arrows. And as I just fucking said, this is just regurgitation. So you need to know that the first trimester screen performed at 8 to 10 weeks is going to look for nuchal translucency, <clears throat> PAPA A, and beta HCG. Okay, so nuchal translucency is an area of fluid behind the fetal neck that, for whatever fucking reason, can become enlarged slash widened in Down syndrome. So we are looking at only the arrows that are up here. So we've just eliminated half the answer choices. Okay, we've eliminated all these bottom answer choices. So you also need to know that PAPA A, pregnancy-associated plasma protein A, is decreased, not increased in pregnancy uh, where it's Down syndrome. I see this is actually the key variable that students fuck up the most, okay? They'll remember something about PAPA A being off, but they tend to erroneously select it as increased. It's just my observation as a tutor, okay? So we're looking at, so far, increased nuchal translucency, decreased PAPA A, and then I'll just continue sequentially, okay? So even though we've got uh, HCG in the third, uh, fuck am I saying right now? As part of the tri screen, it is increased, okay? But I'm going to continue sequentially here. So you need to know that as part of the quad screen at 16 to 20 weeks uh, in pregnancy. So this is second trimester screen. We're looking at AFP, estriol, HCG, and inhibin A. Okay, I'm going to tell you a very easy way to remember the arrows for these. So for these latter four, the ones that have H's, HCG, inhibin A, they're the ones that have H's. Okay, estriol, AFP don't. So the ones that have H's are the ones that are increased. Okay, so AFP is decreased, estriol is decreased. Estriol is a marker of fetal well-being. Obviously not a good situation to have a trisomy, so it's decreased. AFP... It's down and down syndrome. AFP obviously increased if we have a neural tube defect, okay, anencephaly, phallocele, gastroschisis, multiple gestation pregnancy, uh, but it's down and down syndrome. So our answer choice is going to be, our correct answer is going to be increased nuchal translucency, decreased PAPA A, uh, decreased AFP, decreased estriol, increased HCG, increased inhibin A, okay? As I prefaced with, just regurgitation. We're just regurgitating arrows. But this is about inculcating the high yield points that are past level. Okay, I can make clips on obscure shit, and I will do that uh, at various points. But you need to know these arrows, and I will link the high yield arrows PDF down below. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.